going to save some of my notes. I've got a friend helping me. Uh, Travis, if you're watching this, geez, thank you so much. I've been trying to ask uh, the internet, so to speak, and there's about 100 different people with 100 different opinions on how this all works. So my trouble is I'm tuning power enrichment, and the computer keeps randomly pulling Spark. And what do I mean by randomly? It's always in a different cell here. It never seems to hit the same cells again. And um, it doesn't seem to be correlated with air to fuel ratio or uh, spark timing advance. And why I say that is in the VSS scanner, at this point, I'm, I'm forcing 11 to one. I didn't get a... Uh, it didn't register knock in that. However, I have my PE quite rich right now. And here it transitioned to power enrichment mode at, uh, I think we're at about 45% throttle. And we're at 11 to two power uh, air to fuel ratio in a pull timing. So um, it did it again here. In, in power, well, it seems to have done it. See, I don't know. This is a question for everybody out there. Um, how quick does this knock retard react? Uh, was this to an event back here somewhere? Of course, it's before it pulled it, but how far back? Um, yeah, so I've been chasing this for quite a while. It's never in the same cells. I pulled timing in the high octane table. I made the low octane table match the high octane table. I took all my logs and got like a, a region on this map here. And then I reduced that by two, three degrees. I took multiple what I call safe spark tables and use the lowest settings from them and then also reduce them. I increase the air to fuel ratio. I'm still getting the knock. So or the knock retard from the the knock sensors um, in my setup. And so I pretty confidently believe that is false knock. Now my build is uh, set up with uh, essentially their their hydraulic lifters but they act like solid lifters they're johnson 2116 lsr lifters a bit over definitely overkill for my situation but it's a lq9 short block that's a six liter and uh it's got the factory heads on it um roll full roller shaft mount roller rockers and a cam uh, the rest of it's all pretty much a factory lq9 engine and so my baseline where i cannibalized my parts from was an LM7, a 5.3 liter truck engine. And I took that tune, that baseline in the computer, and I've been tuning from that. Now, I've compared to several tunes. Um, the LQ9 spark uh, knock settings are less sensitive than the LM7 in many regards. So I've been working my way towards them, and I still seem to be getting this false knock. Um, but uh, I'll show you. Here's the multiplier table. Uh, in my baseline now, I have my current tune. I have the LQ9 settings in here. Here's the LM7 settings. It's attenuating slightly the upper pressures here. Uh, I notice most people do not modify the global gain table. However, uh, I thought a safe way would be to first uh, take, oh, whoops, sorry, take the uh, baseline and kind of transfer it into my tune from the LQ7. Um, this also, this table, this is where most people I see are doing their, their changes. Uh, this is, I jumped over here a little quick. Knock sensor level versus RPM versus the cylinder. Uh, these are now the LQ9 settings. The LM7 was had a much lower threshold in much of the table. And I transitioned over to the 
OK9. Now my false knock seems to be, you know, where, where I'm cruising. I guess that's where I'm doing most of my tune. Some of it is starting to show up up here. And I think this is the table here that people modify. Now, knock sensor tip in, I think I see people modifying that. I just copied the higher setting from the LQ9. I may need to raise that a little bit too. Uh, but what I want to show here is, and this, this is kind of my thought process and um, what I've been doing. I have also a professionally tuned by a well-known tuner uh, Corvette here. The guy I bought it from was like best buddies with a guy uh, used to work for GM. He left and he tunes vehicles. I forgot his name. He lives in Detroit. I met him. He's a really nice guy. He tuned my Corvette. Um, but these are the items where if I compare especially this table right here is much different on my, whoops, much different on my Corvette. And he's dramatically um, desensitized those knock sensors uh, on my Corvette. So I almost wonder that's an LS1 with a cam head and heads and exhaust and cold air intake. Um, I almost wonder if uh, this would be a safe upper bound. But uh, yeah, so I'm kind of got to save some notes here because I, I come back to this and it's very complex. And I tend to forget how it worked <laughs> from the time before. So that, that's about where I stand. Um, I suppose if you are doing this as well and you're trying to figure out if it's false knock, one thing you can do is uh, it's this little button actually here. And I, as I'm not in a tune or connected to the vehicle, I can't do it right now. But there you can force an air to fuel ratio. And I don't know that you can you may be able to, to do a global um, retard. Um, knock uh, advanced retard on your on your tune I'm not sure I just do it by loading a new did it by loading a brand new uh, table here for the high octane and you can make your high match your low and then with the most conservative one meaning the less advanced and then use that table and pull back a little bit of timing in the problem region and then um, you know it's not spark, you know it's not fuel, so you're left with its likely false knock. And, and that's what I've been doing, expending a tremendous amount of gas. However, as this is my first time ever tuning in this capacity, I'm not for sure uh, where I stand with the um, settings here, what's, what's acceptable and what isn't for a naturally aspirated LQ9 engine, LQ9 short block, that is. Um, there was something else that came to mind here I needed to kind of mention. Oh, yeah, so you're, one thing I'm assuming is your uh, map error, your manifold, your VE table is not egregiously bad. Mine isn't too bad. I'm within, you know, pretty well within 5% of the commanded AFR, I have power enrichment on, so it's commanding richer uh, air, a richer mixture under these high load areas according to throttle position, that is, and RPM. And uh, I, I think I'm, I'm safe there. If you happen to have, you know, if, if you say commands, um, it's, it's kind of commanding, a richer mixture and your VE table is considerably off um, of what is appropriate, let's say 14.7, it's, it's considerably off that. And when you go into PE and you're not commanding that richer mixture 12 to one uh, approximately just in, in the ballpark or, or richer, let's say, then, then 
you you actually have an error in your fuel if that makes sense you got to understand that before you delve into the spark stuff because uh, i believe a a very lean mixture can easily provoke knock um a super rich one certainly can i think i i i haven't experienced that yet you can wash out your cylinders and damage things that way i don't know how long that takes to to damage a cylinder if you're you're really rich, um, but if you're super lean, you can you can certainly cause some trouble, in quite quickly. And I've not done that before. I don't want to blow my engine up, but uh, you you have to know your fuel has to be pretty darn close on the rich side as opposed to the lean side for both power enrichment and uh, you know your cruise and that before you go down this rabbit hole of false knot like I did. But this, this is just me kind of rambling on, saying what I've been going through, and uh, I'm slowly desensitizing those knock sensors until hopefully I stop seeing this random reporting of knock in various areas of the spark table. Let me open another one here to give give you an idea like this these all i think reported some knocks see this is a different area um open a different and i hit those same cells again as before um this one will report some meaning i i did transition through these cells on that previous tune didn't register knock let's uh Go to, I don't know, this one will show it in a different spot again. Maybe it's a rough region. But uh, I'm pretty sure if you have an air to fuel ratio problem with your VE table or power enrichment, or you have a advance problem where you're advancing your timing too much, you're going to see that knock in the same area on your spark map here. And so this random reporting here, I'm pretty sure must be false knock. Anyway, so that's my thought process. It's, I wish I had it a little better organized, but you know, this, this is stuff that when I look at other tunes on the internet, other tuners, they just say, just pull this out of here. And that's fine and dandy if you're really experienced. Otherwise, I'm nervous to do that. And so I'm slowly Building confidence, working in that direction. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask me in the comments below.